Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the one that's next on my list is Edwin Oliver Poole. And he's been missing since 1991 from Keller, Washington. Native American, 45 years old, 5'7", 120 pounds. He was an alcoholic, which is no surprise because he was a Native American. Brown hair, brown eyes. Edwin is a member of the Cabo Indian tribe. His left eye was lost in an accident and he misplaced his prosthetic eye prior to his disappearance. He may wear an eye patch. His nicknames are Ed and Eddie. And you're thinking, oh, there's that one eye Jack dude, which looks so much like him, but this guy was found in 1979. And yes, he had hitchhiked, supposedly, all the way. He was picked up hitchhiking near Boise, Idaho, and hitchhiked to Alaska. But he... He died in 1978 and was found in 1979, and he didn't go missing until 1991. So, it can't be him. So, he was last seen in the Alice Flats HUD sites in Keller, Washington, and he was in the company of a woman and three men at the time. He's never been heard from again. He lived alone when he disappeared. He had a history of dropping out of sight for a few days at a time, maybe going to visit friends or, and staying at their houses. So his loved ones, they weren't worried about him at first. And then his sister reported him missing uh, several weeks as, after his disappearance. And you can pause this to read it if you like. Um, he served a prison term for robbery before he went missing. He was known to use marijuana and cocaine, and he associated with drug dealers. Because of his lifestyle and other indications, his family believed from the beginning that he met with foul play. In December 2005, James H. Gallagher Jr. was indicted in federal court for Edwin's premeditated murder. So he premeditated his murder. He and Edwin are cousins and both members of the Colville Federate Tribes. Gallagher, whoops, Gallagher, I'm not pronouncing his name, last name right. Gallagher, Gala, Gallagher, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, he occasionally allowed Edwin to stay at his home in Keller, Washington. He has a criminal record for theft, assault, robbery, sexual assault, drunk driving, and weapons offenses. And he spent extensive periods of time in prison. Probably has a temper. In May 2007, he confessed to killing him. But he said that Edwin splattered... Urine, urinating in his living room. Now, why would somebody be urinating in his living room? And he said he punched him in the head and afterwards broke his neck. He claims it was unintentional. So he just came up with this thing. But they said he had premeditated killing him. So, I don't know. Anyway, he pled guilty to the involuntary manslaughter. And he was sentenced to six years in prison with credit for time served. He's expected to, so he's probably out by now. The original first degree murder charge would have carried a life, in sent, in, in, a life sentence. So he just admitted to doing it to something that wasn't premeditated so that he would have a shorter time in prison. And who knows, so he, and he'd already served three years, so he only had another three years. Um, Edwin's brother, George, and who knows what really happened. Um, if they thought he premeditated it, then there's probably a reason why they thought that. So, but they knew he'd done it, apparently. So, Edwin's brother George disappeared in 1988, over two years before Edwin did. The cases were not connected, but the remains were never found. So, foul play is suspected in Edwin's due to the circumstances. So, they haven't found his remains. They're still looking for the John Doe. To find his remains and his brother was George Wayne Puller and there's a photo of him and he's been missing since 1988 1988 and 1991 Omac Washington he was 37 years old oh, I feel sorry for their family you know that's really rough he was 5'6 150 pounds he had a station wagon that's been accounted for he had a beard and a mustache, it says. He wore wired frame glasses. That's interesting. He was a member of the Colville Indian tribe. He has tattoos on both arms and shoulders. He was last seen leaving a tavern near the southeast corner of Main Street and Central Avenue in Omak, Washington, November 
1988. He left in his blue 1982 Toyota station wagon with two other men, and he's never been heard from again. The station wagon was later found abandoned and burned three miles south of Omak. In April 1991, over two years after he's vanished, that's when his brother disappeared. And then it talks about, in 2005, James Gallagher Jr. was indicted for Edwin's premeditated murder. Premeditated murder. He eventually pled guilty to manslaughter and got just six years in prison. So, foul play suspected in George's disappearance. His sister stated that one of the men he was last seen with was jealous of George's relationship with a woman. And witnesses allegedly told her that they had seen George stabbed to death. So the jealous man stabbed him to death. Authorities do not believe his case is connected to his brothers. So somebody might have stabbed him to death in a jealous rage and then burned up his car to hide evidence. That's crazy. So then they lost two two brothers. And they've got a, a girl that's lost both of her brothers, both of them murdered tragically that is so sad anyway please don't forget to stop and pray for their families and hopefully their remains will be found you know so that they can you know that's really sad anyway uh thank you so much for tuning in have a great day Bye bye